morning! Could this be true? The second day of bright sunshine up there. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get some fertiliser on again. We can get some ploughing started. And all the other jobs that we need to do as well, like feeding cattle and bedding them down. But um, if you like this sort of thing, and you like tractors and cattle, then please press like and subscribe because it really helps grow our channel. Right, let's get going. So I am on the 130. We'll get this back to the shed. It's a straw blown out. So we're getting everywhere covered in here. So every part of the shed has got something nice and clean to lay on. Noah's just letting me in here, into the gates. So we'll get these done. Uh oh, we got engine two cooling temperature high. Let's get this sorted. That'll be why. We'll have to blow that out a little bit later. It'll rapidly go down now, though. We're into the green already. There you go. Right, I've just parked up the straw blower for a second because we're gonna have to get my dad off in the daff. He's taking some cattle and then I think he'll be on his way up to Thursk. I think it's Thursk market today, so that's where he'll be gone for most of the day today. Well, my dad's taking them, but he's actually not going to Thursk. I thought he was. It's not Thursk, obviously, this week. I don't know what week it is. It's every other week, Thursk. Obviously, not this week. We'll uh, just finish the feeding and get back on the straw bar. There he goes, the daft's out. So, we'll drop the meal in these troughs. Keep these guys happy. We've already done one down there. Then we'll fetch him a bit of straw. No, what's this on the window? We're not having rain, not today. Right, it is time for a coffee and then uh, we're going to vaccinate some cattle, I think. But uh, I could really do with getting the fertiliser spreader on, I think. Getting out with it, but we'll see. Latest delivery from Cramp. Got a battery checker. I thought we could check the battery on the 9 metre and see if um, it says there's anything wrong with it. So we're just waiting for my dad to get back so we can uh, move some cattle. With there being three of us, it makes the job a bit easier. We'll pull this out and we'll blow these radiators clean. Well, that's quite handy, I didn't know it. Spun round to the side like that. That's good, that. I like that. Right, we'll get these guys. What we've done. Back in their pen. Or in the new pen. Right, we'll get this fella back. Then we're going to get a few Angus out. Not British Blues. Just cleaning the crush out. So we just got some out to go in this bright sunshine. We'll send them round. So, already I've had my dinner. We've done a bit of cattle clipping. We've got a few out, we've still got more to do. Um, so that's just holding us off actually getting out into the field and doing stuff. Um, we're also just doing a bit of maintenance on a few of the machines. Um, a bit of coolant needed here and there, a little bit of tops up for oil. Um, just things that have been put off, I suppose. Just because we ain't had the time, so we're just getting on with it now. But yeah. Oh. He was just licking himself, it did look funny. There's a fair bit of clipping going on. Although they are starting to lose their hair now. You are lovely, aren't you? Mm -hmm. oh, lovely. Beautiful. Yes, hello. This one is having a very nice sleep. Look how deep the sleep he is. Nice little back in head. <laughs> Sorry, lads. <laughs> REM sleep that way, innit? You're following it still. So just looking around here, they're all quite relaxed, just try and keep it that way. We're looking for a specific number. Of course they're going to start getting up now. So 
So we'll get these guys in. Oh, we're still at it. More cattle going round. Yeah, we've, uh, we're going to be busy for the next few days. Another delivery of cattle going out and coming in. Finally, I can get these uh, these guns put away. So these are the automated ones. So we just turn it on like that. Oh, a bit of a uh, bit of a uh, thing. That's what we put in our doors. All right. So that's correct. And then how much things were? It's weird. Five ninety. Boom, pull the trigger and it measures out enough medicine for a bullock that or an effer or whatever that weighs that amount. So we're never overdosing or underdosing. Right, I've braved it. I've ditched the overalls for the first time in 2024. Yeah, it's quite warm. And uh, I think the overalls have to go. I feel all right at the minute. Give it another hour, it might be a bit cold, but we'll brave it. Right, I'm going to show you something that we've uh, not used for a long time down here. So we've been tipping a, uh, a special mix off for these ones that are going to be grazing this time. And it gets pushed out because they throw it everywhere. So we use our wheeled pusher here. Huh? So I'll show you that. So this is it. Huh? Yeah? So we're gonna put that down. It's gonna get friction on the side of here. And as it does, it turns the wheel one way or the other and pushes it in. These guys are getting a bit giddy, aren't they? I wouldn't normally do it with the boom pushed all this way out, but for your viewing pleasure, I am, uh, I am today. So you see that? So it just pulls it in. You don't want to take too much at a time or else you lose a lot of the thinner stuff. Yeah? Then if you're really good, which I'm not going to be really good yet because one, I'm trying to do it with one hand. Two, I've not had much practice with this. You can back up, take it in a little bit more, but yeah, I'm not that good. So we'll start again at this end and we'll push again. Yeah, look at that. A bit lower. It's all pushed up. Business! When I've seen these in the past, they were always really short, um, as in they're not very wide. And so I had somebody make this for us and I said it needs to be wider than the wheels because I don't want the wheels here the, uh, of the JCB to be driving on the feed because sometimes I get muck on them. So with it being stuck out that little bit more, it means that the wheels don't fetch any muck into the cattle's feed trough. That's the idea anyway. So we're getting everywhere fed now. Getting these guys up. Disturbing their peace. Well, she had a zero fuel in, so we've had to fill it up. Never drive this at the minute, but I'm filling it up. And on these little sheets of paper, we record the, uh, the sort of number that was on the uh, odometer or whatever the fuel litre reading so we can work out how many litres we've used we also don't put down the hours we also write down what job it's been doing and then um, whoever's filled it up so it's, at the minute it's Joe or Noah that fills everything up right I've just jumped on the nine metre we've got the last of the nine highs for the year there to come down oh we don't like taking the last ones down you know they're a bit it's a bit fruity taking them down um, anyway we'll get these stacked round the yard ready for tomorrow 
Noah's quickly putting the silage in. And then he's going to get his hair cut. Going to get his hair cut, if I can get my words out. Yeah, I don't know what um, style, colour... Um, he's having. Or even if we'll get to see, because he's always got his hat on. He might be blonde under there. We never know. Right, I've just got the trailer on, because we might start shipping some bales in and out of the yard with the trailer. It's a bit more efficient. But, um, yeah, I need to get it near to the pile to start that. Let me tell you, up there is very high. And for some reason, it's now decided it's too heavy. Yeah, we'll fetch them down. Right, job done. We'll get this into the shed. Put a few of the other stuff into the shed. We can finish mix off it morning. So I better fetch the TM in. The boost. Look at that. It's looking good because it's not a cloudy day. For once. I'm sure we'll drop this down here. Like so. And then we'll get it driven back down into the shed. I think. Oh yeah, I've got the 130 to pull him. And then uh, that's pretty much the day's done. So we'll get this pulled in the shed. It's full of ad blue, it's full of diesel, living the dream tomorrow. Uh, although I think it might rain, you know, just look to the forecast, 85% chance of rain, of course. But after tomorrow, there's no rain forecast for several days, which is fantastic. So I think that means we will be getting a plow out and we will be getting some spring barley put in. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed that's how it actually turns out. Sorry it's been a bit of a... I'm not really sure what type of video it's been today because I've just been really busy with the cattle and I don't know if people like that side of things or if they want to see more tractors or what, but it just has to be whatever I do in the day because it has to fit around my life and I'm busy enough as it is. So, um, yeah, that's how the videos work, basically. I don't really think about what's going to be going in it's just whatever happens in the day. So today it's been predominantly around the cattle and then we've had a little bit of tractor activity, I suppose, um, thrown in in between as we, as we have to anyway to, uh, to look after them. Anyway, I'm rambling on. If you have liked it, please press the like button, subscribe if you're not already and um, check out the merchandise. We've got more stuff like this on the website you can click um, below the video here and um, if you click on that then it takes you to the website anyway on the little items that are for sale so um yeah that's it pretty much thanks for watching guys i massively appreciate it i'll see you later bye before we go up there do you see that piece of straw that was one of the sparrows it? oh yeah yeah it's moving they're obviously thinking about building their nests aren't they Oh, it's lovely when it's springtime. All the nature in the yard, look. Mrs. Pheasant here coming for her tea. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye!